What's up, y'all? Pat from Texas Freshwater Fly Fishing. Um, start a series of videos here, fly tying videos to kind of show some of my favorite and some of the most versatile flies we have here, especially in these Texas freshwaters of ours. Um, the first fly we're going to tie is the Jigged Bead Head Wooly Bugger. Okay, um, I'm going to tie it in one of my favorite colors, especially the fish around here, which is an olive and black. And there's going to be a little bit of gold flash or gold ribbing in there also. Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm going to tie it on a size 8 jig hook right there. You can see that. Um, right now I'm using an Umqua U555 and an 8. And really the only weight we're going to use pretty much uh, is this gold bead head. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and secure the gold bead head onto the hook. Snap that... Uh, hook into your vise and then we're going to start wrapping with a uh, black thread I like to use a black thread on this one uh, we're going to start with the black thread up there at the front of the hook and we're going to wrap all the way down to where the bend of the hook starts now you can add some more weight to the fly if you want to if you want it to really get down faster um, and and do a little bit of under wraps with some lead wire or any type of weighted wire there if you want to add a little bit more weight i don't want to on this one uh this is a fly i'm gonna fish a little bit slower sometimes i don't want it to get down as fast so i'm not gonna add that lead weight this time i'm gonna tie about to the end or to the the bend there in the hook and then we're gonna tie in the tail the tail is gonna be this grizzly marabou in olive Get yourself a few good feathers that you want to use and then we'll measure it out i like my tail to be about as long as the actual hook is itself so find that point get a good couple good wraps secure that in there you can trim off those feathers i like to leave some feather there um it's almost just superstition for me now, um, but I like to leave that in there. I think sometimes it adds a little body to the fly, gives it a little bit more profile, though it gets covered up. Um, like I said, it's probably just more superstition for me now than anything else. But wrap that all the way into the, the bead head and then back down into where the tail is, okay? Next thing we're going to tie in is what we're going to use for the ribbing. I use this gold, gold wire here. Um, I really like the gold. I mentioned that earlier with the bead head. I like the gold, especially for these guads we have swimming around here. Um, and more than anything in fishing the Lano, those guads in the Lano really like some gold flash. I've had a lot of success on a bunch of different flies adding some gold flash to it so that gold flash on this fly is just going to be this gold ribbing in that bead head so wrap all the way down secure it in real good and we're going to leave that hanging out the back we're going to use that later next thing we're going to tie in is right here okay um it's this light olive chenille right we we'll get ourselves a good chunk we're going to tie it in secure it in right here few wraps and then we're going to wrap back down all the way to the front of the hook okay okay next thing we're going to build the body with this chenille just start by wrapping it around laying it down right next to each other so you start building that body and then when you get to the base We'll tie it off. Okay, a couple wraps. Trim it off. I like to get a couple more wraps to hold that in there. Okay, perfect. Then for the hackle, we're gonna tie in this uh, rooster saddle patch hackle in black. Make sure when you're tying this in that we're gonna tie it in with the feather facing backwards. So you get that hackle laying the right direction. Okay, tie that in good, secure it in, 
and then we're going to start wrapping it around now i like one full wrap of that hackle right there at the uh, pretty much at the base of that bead head and then we're going to start working backwards with it evenly spacing it out right leaving the same gap in between each wrap Work that all the way back to the back of the hook. Okay. So once, well, see, sometimes you do that. I could use my hackle pliers and it'd be a little bit easier, but not today. So one full wrap around right there at the base of the bead head. Then we'll start working it back, evenly spacing out these wraps with the hackle. Okay, from there, we get to tie in our ribbing. So what it's gonna do, this ribbing is gonna help hold down that hackle, right? We're gonna take that ribbing and use it to make sure we catch that end of that hackle feather right there wrap it around good and then we're going to work it back up towards the front of the hook again making sure our spacing between each wrap of ribbing is pretty close to even Work that ribbing all the ribbing, ribbing all the way up to the front. Okay, once it gets up to the front, you can go ahead, clip it off, make sure you push it down, and then we're going to tie it down, tie it off. So catch it a couple times, really make sure we push that down so it doesn't catch our line or anything like that, and a few wraps to really secure it there. And then that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead, give the fly a good whip finish. Cut that off. Trim that there. The other thing I want to trim off is where our hackle ended. Cut that off. And then we can finish it. Put some fly head cements on there or something to secure those wraps, that thread hold everything on there nicely and that's it and there you have the jigged bead head woolly bugger in an olive and black thanks y'all